So, Mika, this is the, the new Rimfire 2.2? Yes, yes. That's the new Tikka T1X uh, MTR, multitask Rimfire. Yeah. Big thing about this rifle is actually it, it uses the standard centerfire stock. Yeah. And you can, you can swap it basically to any other stock that uses the standard uh, synthetic uh, down um, inlays yeah. here. So you can drop you it to any, change, you yeah. can change it multiple to anything that is on yeah. the market today for T3X. All right, yeah. 10 shot mag. 10 shot mag, yeah, available in 2.2 uh, long rifle and 17 HMR. It's all rim fire, basically. Yeah. yeah. Also, this stock actually uses, um, it has 35% uh, fiberglass on it when we injection mold it. So, this is not your standard polymer. This is really high tech, mm -hmm. high tech synthetic. Yeah. And it also translates to the accuracy. And also, when you get uh, change temperatures, uh, it doesn't change the point of impact yeah. too much. So. And the trigger system on it? Trigger system is, is the standard uh, Tikka. Uh, rim In principle. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. So, you get really, really market leader trigger. Very smooth bolts. Yeah. Everything has been really honed on yeah. this 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 one. The T3 Centerfire has been probably the most successful uh, rifle in the UK market over the past decade. Uh, really popular because of its accuracy, its affordability, the engineering link to to Seiko. Um, this, I think, will be a massive hit. Uh, there is a huge demand in the UK for affordable rimfires. And I think the Tika brand, if it delivers on the promise of its, of its predecessors, is so strong. Um, you know, if they get the price point right, I think it's going to be a massive success. We've we've had a play with this this prototype, not fully production ready, but obviously, you know, it's in a it's in a T3 stock. It's going to be effectively interchangeable with the stocks and accessories for the T3, which will make it very attractive to people that want to customise it. Um, you know, it, it's a full size. Rimfire, a lot of them are a little bit short in length of pull, they feel you know, more of a, a, a child's gun sometimes, whereas this you know, is a full-sized rifle, lots of adjustability, lots of customization options, and from what we've had, uh, the experience we've had today, really slick to shoot, um, fantastic magazine design, and uh, yeah, I'm quite excited about this, I think this, this will be a massive, massive hit in the UK. I quite like short rifles because it's easy to handle and easy to use yeah a big long hole you swing that's around. true we try to optimize the length also the barrel lengths are optimized so that you can have the uh, 20 uh, 20 inch on on um, 17 hmr and 20 inch on all uh, two two long rifle and then we have also 16 inch version uh, if you want to go really compact this actual one is the 20 inch version so we even have more compact version all come with the threading so yeah. we have two different threading types for the american market and for the european why now? Why have you suddenly decided to do a rim fire? This has been on the table for, for, for many years and we have been um, trying different kind of concepts but then we uh, finally decided to have this kind of concept that we will utilize the center fire uh, stock. So it was the, then we felt that we have found out the exact concept uh, how we're going to bring out the uh, 22 long rifle and 17 HMR for Tikka.